many businesses to grow their business to generate leads and sales. Before I start with the speech today, I want to know and understand my audiences. I want to know what are you here, uh, what is your agenda? What, I mean, you should ask you, what is your plan in the future? Can anyone tell me? Can anyone tell me what's the plan for your future? Talking about digital thing. Is anyone here who is a YouTuber or social media influencer? Anyone? Sir, I'm doing my research in Twitter. You're doing research? That's good. So, do you have any uh, social media accounts? Yes. Sir. How many followers do you have? I have 600,000. Uh, what content do you uh, write? So you don't doing anything practically? Uh, no. no, not as influencer, but as regular internet. Right. Okay. I'm from the era where I was forced to study in 10 and 12 and do my graduation just because I was in need of a job, right? To start my career, to earn money. But you know what? As the time passed, I came to learn about digital tech and digital innovation. And I turned my career into a blogger, like as ma'am said. And I was not in need of any job. I was financially strong, and I was getting paid from Google, and I was getting paid when I was in class 12. That's the power of digital marketing, and that's the power of blogging. Have you ever, have you ever been to uh, India Gate or Taj Mahal? Lal Kila. Have you ever seen the foreigners over there flocking around with the packages, with the cameras, right? And if you try to connect with them, right, and you love them, but what do you do for your living? None of them will let you know that they are into a full-time job. 99% of them are either freelance or they are a social media influencer. Every one of you have the power of digital innovation in your pocket. That's called a mobile phone. And I'm sure out of this 24 hours, you must be using this mobile phone or internet for at least 3 and 4 hours. And this is innovation. How many of you have watched television in the last 24 hours? Anyone? How many of you have watched a television in the last 24 hours? One, two, three. And how many of you have watched any uh, movie episodes or whatever, news or whatever thing on a mobile phone in the last 24 hours? The hands are more than the TV, right? Mobile beats over here. This is the power of portability. This is the innovation of machine. As we are going to move ahead, internet, we have the power of internet. We can connect with anyone. You know, let's talk about the power days when uh, around 150 years or 100 years ago. What was the fastest mode of communication? Can anyone raise your hand and tell me what was the fastest mode of communication? Anyone? Yes, ma'am? Telegram. Telegram. Uh, you must be surprised that the Telegram, uh, Indian government have a uh, closed system, right? We don't have Telegram now. <laughs> Telegram. 100 years ago when it was very necessary or it was very important to connect with anyone. It was very important to connect with anyone far. Telegram was the fastest way of communication, but now we don't have that. There was something called Archives, right? There was a company called Archives. Do you remember that? Yes. What was that for? Gifts. Do you hear gifts? Right? Get well soon gifts? Anyone from here? Gift gallery. I'm not able to hear you. Gift, right? Gift galleries. Now a gift gallery. 
but earlier it was about give, giving up uh, cards, right? New Year cards. If you have to give anyone a New Year, where we have a school, we, have, we used to give New Year cards. I, I don't know about your generation, but yeah, in my generation, I used to give cards to my teachers and my friends to wish them a happy new year. But now, we have a WhatsApp. I remember when I was in a foreign country uh, around 15 years ago. It was tough to connect with my family because the outgoing calls were very uh, expensive. That there was a software called Skype. Remember? Skype? Right? That was the mood of video communication. Now, how many of you use that? Very few. Because we have a WhatsApp video call, right? We have a... Whatever. Can you give me an example? What was the software you used to use during the lockdown? Zoom, right? I'm 100% sure the college used to have a communication with you, right? You used to have the education on the Zoom call, right? So this is a digital innovation and this is very necessary and we are just into a beginning and this is just a beginning. How many of you are aware of ChatGPT? How many of you use ChatGPT almost? Why is it important for you? <laughs> Guys, why is it important for you? Uh, can, I, can I get a mic so that I can talk to my audience directly? I'm not able to hear the people in the back. I, I, I need a mic here. Can anyone tell me what's the use of a chat GPT? Anyone? Uh, hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, chat GPT has made the work a little bit easier for us in a way because uh, when we used to Google some sort of a topic, then the sort of answer that we got, we have to just filter it upon again. But when chat GPT came, because I'm a person who writes or you know uh, does something which is original from my own self, but for a try and I tried it, it was like it was understanding what I wanted so accurately that I was, I was so impressed with it. Okay. So with uh, the data. Are you innovative? Sorry, yes sir. And uh, how have this software changed your innovation? Uh, so maybe subconsciously it has made me relied upon it a little bit and you know a little addiction is over there ki, okay chat GPT is there so I'll write it from myself but a little bit I'll take help from it so my time will be saved. And how is, how is chat GPT helping you with that, solving your problem with education? Uh, so in a way it's solving my problems like if there is a bit technical term and I've never heard about it and I'm googling it and it's taking a lot of time but when I'm using chat GPT at that moment of time, it gives me the brief answers and data that I required for it and in, in just some minutes, okay. just generates it. Yeah. So, it's a, you can say it's another version of Google? Sorry? It's another another version of Google? Uh, it's a better version of better Google. Better version of yes. Google, right? So, this is what animation is and this yes. is how we are moving ahead. And ChatGPT is just a starting point and there are many more to go. Uh, people like you, right? I have no idea. There might be someone here who will invent something new, right? And uh, that will be a new invention and that will change the journey of a digital era. So, so everyone is settled now. I feel good. How many of you are aware of what digital marketing is? How many of you are aware of what is marketing? Ma'am, can I get a mic over there? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. So, what is marketing? Marketing is a combination of activities which is used to uh, basically, sir, uh, uh, basically uh, for the promotion of sales of our product or services or delivery of our product or services. Or in terms, when we add uh, in the context of digital marketing, as I have studied in, uh, studied in this semester. Digital marketing refers to the use of digital devices such as internet, mobile devices and etc. and other devices to reach out customers or consumers or to provide them services via an electronic or digital, uh, digital mode. Right. 
Fine. Can you can you let me know what was the uh, differences between the marketing we had pre-COVID and post-COVID? So the market before pre-COVID and post-COVID. Yes. Eh, is so having the have, I mean, I'll make it clear. How have businesses suffered in pre-COVID and post-COVID? So uh, during pre-COVID period, people uh, people was very safety uh, safety conscious, health conscious. They were very conscious about it uh, from a little thing to uh, those uh, they were taking everything up so in such a massive way, just like in a big big matter. But after uh, जैसे जैसे टाइम निकलता गया वैसे वैसे सर इफ वी कंपेयर बोथ सो वी कैन से दैट एज अ रिजल्ट वी गॉट आफ्टर पोस्ट पैंडमिक टाइम वी है वी क्रिएटेड टू टर्म्स दैट आर ट्रेडिशनल मार्केटिंग एंड डिजिटल मार्केटिंग ये हमें जानने को मिली सर राइट So, do you think digital marketing helped many of the businesses, many of you, to be very independent and work as freelance and earn money? Can you repeat it, sir? Do you think digital marketing has helped you post COVID to be financially strong, and they can help you can help it can help you to earn money as a freelancer? I mean, to say, are you secure with your uh, your financial things now after post COVID? Uh, Innovation of digital marketing post COVID. Okay, okay. Yes. Let me make it clear. What is the influencer? Do you, do you, have, do you use uh, Instagram? No, sir. I don't use social media platform too much. Okay. So, do you have any idea what the influencer is? Yeah. So what do you mean by that? Sir, an influencer is a person who uh, who influences or uh, uh, who influences this particular product. Drag a company towards people in front of people who is mainly advertise any pr uh, any product or services and make people attract toward it. Perfect. And if you do that digitally, it's a digital influencer, right? So now there are many people. Okay, sit down. There are many people who are very innovative, but they are not getting chance to showcase their product. I mean, so showcase their talent. So these people are coming up with the digital things, right? Like this called a mobile phone, right? This one you must be having in your pocket, right? It's very easy, right, to connect with anyone. See, if you are a singer and you are not able to you now show your skills to someone who is interested in you, who might help you, mold you, right? Who might give you a chance in your career, right? It's very easy to open a channel and you can create your own Instagram pages and you can showcase over there and you can get connected. How many of you are aware of someone called Ranu Mandal? Hi, please. Who was she, and how did digital platform change her career or life? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, basically, Ranu Mandal ji jo thi wo sare ke kinare baithi upar ek gana gari thi and someone. मतलब उनको एक चांस मिला कि वो डिजिटली भी जाके अपने आप को यू नो शोकेस कर सके वो फेमस कैसे हुई फेमस कैसे आ हिमेश जो शमिया ने उनको एक चांस दिया था अपने शो पे हिमेश वाज मूविंग अराउंड द रोड एंड ही फाउंड आउट नो 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 आ थ्रू डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म थ्रू सोशल मीडिया ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज व्हाट आई मीन या राइट सो डिजिटल मार्केटिंग और सोशल प्लेटफॉर्म्स और दिस इनोवेशन is so strong right if you have the skill and you can portray your thoughts the skills and your innovation to anyone where it has to be and to people who are watching you they will connect with you true right that's good so mandal was just an example and there are many people of sitting over here and i have no idea who might get what and even change your career in this field the art is and we are moving ahead with the digital thing Right, we are part of the innovation, and we are not aware that we are using that. Right, and digital is the power of the coming future. Right, do you have any questions? I'm done with this. If you have any questions, aware of anyone who can ask one more, can you think about digital innovation or digital marketing or digital platform?
Hello, sir. So, uh, my question is like a very generic one. Uh, it's like digital marketing works for influencers, any brand, and whatever you say. But uh, suppose for a generic category, for an author, suppose there is an author, uh, there is one of my experience, there is an author like I work for that client. So, she is an author, she is a doctor. And she wanted to get verified on Instagram. Um, and she wanted to get a digital reach, uh, Instagram reach as an author. But she has only one book launched and uh, it's upon health because she is obviously a nutritionist, she is a doctor. So, so how digital marketing can help an author to outshine that potential and because obviously it's not the you know the entertainment world or the yeah. luxurious or the glamorous world that's yeah. been attractive. Yeah. So like for an author, how digital marketing can work to gain a lot of reach for them? Uh, the first thing is the, she has to showcase her skills in career. I mean, uh, if she is really talented, uh, she has the content. But she has to come out in the video and she has to do a storytelling. If she is an author, let her give the bite of her creativity uh, in the videos and give, let, let her give some call to action so that people can click on the video and see more and they can go to the uh, YouTube channel. Right? If she wants to distribute her PDF, right? so it's very easy for her to give it as a freebie. Now, the point of my view is we will not be interested to buy her books, right? but what we can do is we can create a part based of our uh, storytelling thing or, or maybe let, let, let her give a free book to uh, people, right? And what can she can do is go to the Instagram thing and put a bio over there and put the link of the uh, where to download the free Instagram or uh, PDF, right? When people download that book free, they will come to know about her, right? She can put a bio and a preface about her, about the author, or the beginning of the PDF book or the end of the PDF book so that she can get famous. Right. I'm talking about uh, Ludic or uh, uh, Instagram verification. So it's a good news for you. You don't have to invest so much of money into uh, getting verification for Instagram. Uh, it's already been launched in the US. And you have to pay around uh, $10 per month and you get it for free of cost. So uh, actually the query from that person was before launching of this uh, scheme. So now, though, sir, this is a thing in the digital world that now the blue ticket has been, you know, uh, it is for 700 or something around, like for Indians, I guess. So the, the value has been a little lost, I yes. feel, in the digital world because uh, whenever a content creator or an influencer works hard and his or her hard work pays off, then only they get the recognition, right? Yes. But now, after this monetary wala thing, uh, this has led to a little, you know, the, the fame of the blue tick down. Right? Yes. So, yeah, actually, so. see, there's, there's two ways to get verification. Either you pay it, either you work hard, you get a recognition, you get a good amount of PR done, right? Then you get famous. And Instagram or Wikipedia, they, they will verify you automatically. So, but uh, how a person, a, 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 an influencer who is getting verified, now suppose there are two influencers, both are master chefs. Suppose one has got in, uh, verified through uh, his, his or her hard work, and the other one just paid seven hundred or like ten dollars over there, and uh, he or she got verified. Then how would the viewers, the audience, would get to know who is the hard worker one or who is the paid uh, one? This is a little, you know, sir, injustice. I feel there are many people who are still not verified, but they are very uh, creative, yeah. and I love their creation. So now or later, yes, when they get famous, but they'll get verified. Uh, Instagram will help you out personally. So they have a verification team in the back end. They keep on searching for the those videos which are more in trend. And when you get the, uh, you know, if, if they catch you, right, and uh, they find you, right, they will give you the verification. Uh, I'll give you an example with that. There was there's someone called Kariminati. Yes, sir. How many of you heard of it? He's a leading. Uh, Social media influencer in Asia. Yes, yes, yes. There was a day when he used to use uh, TikTok. Right? Yes. What he did is, uh, he was very famous on uh, YouTube, and he is. And uh, what he did is just to showcase his power or about his influence. Right? He put just one image, one video on TikTok, and 
that video was just, the account was just created in a day, right? In just 24 hours, you got a verified from TikTok. This is what I mean to say. Yes, sir. You have to be famous. See, the point is not getting verified now, the point is getting visualized, right? To get a visibility. Until you have the visibility, you have the content, right? Until people love your content. Not going to get any Sir, uh, but in that case, when Karim uh, did that thing with that person, that TikToker, basically the image of that TikToker was being into an infamous category, not famous. People used yes. to hate and you know give the backlash trollings and all, and people used to go uh, to the Instagram or uh, TikToker or website over there and just see like the spelling mistakes, hashtag skirt he used. So they used to troll. So somehow he got famous, but it's more into an infamous category which at the end of the day nobody wants. Nobody wants. But the point is, see, you have to be famous in your uh, niche. Uh, if you are creative, people will connect with you, uh, they will find you. And if you get famous, you, you start getting uh, your followers and views. And this is a, there's a team in the back end, the Instagram, right, in the Facebook or Meta. Like, they can catch you, catch the video, training video and make you like and this was the example of Hijab Puja. Yes. She had pathetic content, but she, she was getting verified. So that means uh, digital marketing, public relations, advertising, and the whole sort of a team should, you know, coordinate together and team up to just, you know, bring an influencer on top. And the innovative, innovative create content that he or she is producing, that's the key, right? So. I'm, not, I'm not connecting the, you know, uh, no, uh, entertainer with a content writer, right? Mm -hmm. or an author, right? Okay, that part being on entertainment is fine. We every one of us love entertainment, right? But we don't every one of us don't read books. Right? But those person who want to connect with you, they'll have a, something called a hashtag. Right? They put the hashtag and they will connect with you. And then the algorithm of uh, the social media platform, right? If you are searching for something particular, right, you'll only get those related uh, niche content in your news feed. Thank you, this sir. is how we connect with you. Okay, thank you, Anyone else have any questions? Right. I specialize in the digital marketing and the social media. So if you have any questions, anything sit it out, I can help you out. Anyone? From behind? Alright, thank you guys. Okay, we have a question. Can I get a mic? Hello, sir. Hi, ma'am. Sir, my question is how AI will impact the SEO results? Um, like, now we are getting the chat GPT results, and there are many other AI tools which were not popular but now they are coming into focus. So, how AI will get, get an impact on this? See, AI is already there into uh, digital marketing thing. As, as a as not, Google is itself with a very, very innovative AI, right? We are aware that this, this software is called Google, right? And this, there is something called algorithm which Google use to rank your websites and get a visibility of your websites and get about your product and services. But this has been happening, right? It's not a new thing that AI has come into, right? Google is already an AI, right? Just go and Google, open up an image, right? For example, let me take an image of a map, right? Right, let me take a photo of the map, right? And I want to know where was this image taken, right? Go on Google app, there's something to, uh, then often to uh, search of image, right? If you search a particular image, Google is not only about searching a text or query, right? It's all about, so it's a search engine, right? Take a photo, search for an image, and you're able to understand when this image was taken, where this image was taken. And all the images of map, if it's a Google database, it will all pop up. This is an innovation. This is already an AI. And yes, chat, uh, content like, uh, software like ChatGPT is just in beginning. And there are many things to come up. Let me give an example right, of a photo-based AI application. Right? If I insert a, a photograph of Narendra Modi ji, right? if I'm looking for an original photograph of where Mr. Modi is clapping hands, right? It will be very difficult for me to find that image on Google. If, even if I find it, it will be copyrighted, right? 
There are software and applications so available on internet where you have to go over there, write the query, give me an image of Narendra Modi clapping hand and smiling. Right? A image will be created which never have existed. This is innovation, this is AI. And this is just in the beginning. The software is applic the application is creating uh, uh, MA, right? Maybe in the coming days they'll duplicate the book. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, please. We have a question. Sir, pre-COVID, um, many people are relying on online shopping and digital marketing is booming. But at the same time, there is a lot of mistrust because there is a lot of potential for scam also. So how do you think a consumer can differentiate between this is a scam and this is legit? And how can, as a, a business, how can we stand up? How can we tell people that we are not a scam and even though we are upcoming, you can trust us? Uh, the answer is already given. Uh, we were talking about the uh, platform verification, right? No, sir, without verification because uh, many upcoming businesses, they cannot afford to buy a blue tape and they cannot afford verification in their starting era. So they have to be famous for that. So when you are starting out as a new business, as a startup, you don't have many followers. So how to stand out in that case and prove to people that you are a legit company and you are not going to scam people? The point is, say, I have already discussed with this, uh, if you are studying your business and you don't have too much of followers and trust issue, right, you are getting a trust issue, the best part is, take your time, create content, influence, get influence from the people, right, get the engagement, exist in the market for around uh, 6 months to 1 year, right, and try to convince the audiences with your content, and when they convert into as a follower, a loyal follower, they will definitely pass. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? Yes, now the questions are coming in. Hi, Ram sir. Hi. So the thing is, um, I'm a musician. Okay. Uh, I have tried running apps. I have tried newsletters. And I have tried every possibility to reach my audience, but I fail to do so. So I need to ask for the possibility that I'm uh, feeling to do so. Uh, I didn't get you actually. Can you repeat again? The thing is, sir, uh, I have tried running Instagram, Facebook ads. I have tried running newsletters. But still, I can't reach my audience. Can you figure out what the possibility could be? Uh, what do you sell? Sorry? What do you sell? I'm a musician. I'm a musician. You're a musician. So you promote? Yourself or your, you promote your uh, instruments? I promote myself, uh, my skills and my music. Okay, and uh, how good is your singing? Sorry? How good is your singing? Are you a singer or, or musician? Uh, I'm a music producer. What kind of music video do you do? It's electronic. Electronic, right? So, is it original? Yes, sir. That's right, right? So, the point here, the point over here is I think you check your content first, right? Uh, Maybe your content is see that there's a point of view you cannot clap with just one hand. The clapping has to be done with the book, right? So one hand is you, right? Your content, right? The other part has to be the platform. The, using the platform is an art. Using the right hashtag, right? Using the right bio descriptions, right? And connecting with the right people and posting the content at the right time is very important for that. So you can connect me personally for that, I'll guide you. Do you have any other questions? Yes sir, the thing with hashtags is that, um, let's take a hypothetical example. So I posted a reel that had over 3 lakh views and I just only used 2 hashtags for that. But the next time I post something else, I can even use 30 hashtags, 20 hashtags, that reel would not interact with more than 500 people. Why is that happening? The first thing is, your post is only going to get viral or get a visibility where there's an engagement with it. Right? The best part is whenever you post anything on social media, don't wait people to watch your video, right? In you know, in a sense, you invite them to watch the video, right? So there's something something called share button, right? So if you have 500 uh, followers for you on social media, right? 
just have an impatient with the content and when they click on it, they start playing it, right? Instagram or Facebook or YouTube will guarantee you know, okay, this video is getting viewed very fast and they'll try to pull you up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My last question, I can take. Anyone? Okay, thank you guys.